it's, uh, his first fight's on there in December. December 15th. Against Rocky Fielding? Yeah. Not, a, not, not, not like a walk in the park. Obviously, it's, a lot of people are like, dude, I've never heard of Rocky Fielding. Tough guy, bigger dude. Uh, his only loss, I think, is one of the Smith brothers. Um, it's going to be a tough fight, man. It, you know, it's, it's, it's not an easy one. Not an easy one at all. And then Danny Jacobs. Is Danny Jacobs fighting this weekend or next weekend? It is this weekend, 27th. Danny Jacobs fights, and uh, obviously he's the bigger than Canelo, too. A lot of people are hoping Danny Jacobs wins, and you get a Danny Jacobs-Canelo fight. Let me tell you something about Danny Jacobs. No one wants to fight Danny Jacobs. He's a huge name. A lot of people thought he beat Triple G. He's a big dude. His story is very fascinating because he got um, uh, cancer. He got cancer in his leg or something like that, so he took a long period of time off, and then... Just to correct Sharp, shout out to Brendan Sharp, shout out to Chin, shout out to Below the Belt. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to that channel while subscribing to mine. Just to correct Sharp, I think he had cancer in his torso. Somewhere in his torso. I believe it was in his back. Somewhere in his back, but I could be mistaken in confusing his back for his chest. Because when I saw the 24-7 special, uh, the, I mean the HBO thing, the, what you call it? It's 24-7, right? So when I saw that, for him and Triple G, they went in depth into why he, was, he wasn't around for a while. And they showed the, the spot where they took out the cancer. Like they showed the actual scar that they stitched up and all of that. And it was somewhere between his chest. I think it was his chest or his back. But it was somewhere on his torso. Besides that, I'm a huge fan of Danny Jacobs. In fact, he's the only boxer who I get excited to watch. Aside from Lomachenko. He's the only boxer who I get excited to watch. Simply because... Despite the fact that I was rooting for Triple G, the first fight, the, the fight against him and Triple G, he outperformed my expectations of him. He made Triple G, in my opinion, seem pretty normal, you know, but that's just my opinion. Back to below the belt. Now that he's back, um, you know, he, he had that war with Triple G and he thought that was going to help him. He thought that was going to like prove to everyone and validate him that he's, you know, a upper echelon boxer but what it did is scare everyone so everyone goes holy shit he's big he's fast he's athletic some think he did beat tri triple g he's not a huge name so a lot of guys don't want to fight him but danny jacobs for him would be a fucking monster be a really good fight yeah danny jacobs fights uh october 27th this saturday mass square garden new york vacant uh vacant ibf world middleweight time didn't know D Danny Jacobs was fighting this weekend. I'm going to check that out. Um, why nobody's addressing the elephant in the room? Guys, Canelo didn't win that fight against Triple G. And if anything, if anything, guys, I feel like Danny Jacobs performed better in his one fight against Triple G than Canelo did in both fights against Triple G. Maybe I don't remember that fight all that clearly. I will rewatch it, but I don't think that Canelo beat Triple G, right? If Triple G, if, if uh, Canelo was serious about his legacy in boxing, right? I think he should do the following. Right after he fights this um, Rocky dude, um, win or lose, probably, if he, let's say he wins, right? He should fight Danny Jacobs, then Triple G, and if it's possible, get a rematch with Mayweather. I think that will solidify Canelo as a GOAT in terms of not avoiding competition. In terms of him being the best middleweight on earth or the pound for pound great, I think for that to happen, he would need to face Billy Joe Saunders. Now, sadly, Billy Joe has been suspended for PD use of some sort by WADA. I am skeptical about that simply because WADA has a history of, you know, not being all the way fair. Not, not necessarily fair. They have a history of 
doctoring test. Um, if you've seen Icarus, you know what I'm talking about. The whole Russian team, the Russian Olympic team scandal. So water has a stain on its uh, record in terms of its precision and just reliability for these athletes, right? Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. By unanimous decision. Uh, I see you walking around. You've been screaming, George, even though you just beat BJ Penn in an outstanding fight. What's on your mind right now? I don't think George is hurt. I think he's scared. I think he's scared to fight everybody right now. What's up? Where are you at, George? This is obviously 